When I was a little boy, I played with all of my toys. I had my favorite puppy dog, like other girls and boys. And I had my bow and arrow. I take it to the woods. Mama smiled and waved. All right, folks. Well, uh, today. We're gonna be tanning my axis hide. I just got out of the freezer right now. It's like solid, frozen. It's been frozen for probably a year now. Uh, not gonna lie, forgot about it down in the freezer. And uh, I can kind of pry it apart a little bit. And uh, yeah, well, we'll let it defrost and we'll come back with once stuff. you get the uh, hide defrosted and stretched out and everything you're going to put it into a solution of one eighth cup of alum and two and a half cups of pickling salt and a gallon of water let that sit in that solution for three days every 12 or so hours you're going to take the hide out move it around um wrinkle it in different ways to make sure that solution gets into all of the hide and then submerge it back in the water you're going to do this for three days and then after that, you're gonna start um, fleshing the hide. All right, folks, so I've been at this for about two days now, worth of, you know, scraping this off slowly. Because you have to be very, very precise, not to cut any holes, which I have, and to get all that excess skin and meat and fat and whatnot off of the hide. And Trust me, this right here process will help you way better when you go to work it and everything else if you can just take your time and slowly move away levels of this skin. The hide should almost look like a whitish blue when you know you're in the right depth of how far you want to go down while you're scoring the hide. See that? That just makes for more work trying to soften up the hide. It's a slow process, but if you want it to be done right, that's what you got to do. Trust me. Once you go through all of this, you'll be more proud of that hide. Hanging on the wall or on the floor. Heck, maybe even your little toddlers could have a photo shoot on it when they're little and young. You know, that'd be really cute on an axis hide. Either way, you'd be more proud of it after you do it yourself than pay anybody else to do it for any amount of money. There's something different about it. All right, folks, so what I'm doing here is uh, I got a wire wheel on a drill, and this attacks the fiber in the fur that holds it all stiff together. get done finishing up completely fleshing your hide with the knife and then with the drill and the uh, wire wheel you're going to stretch the hide out and salt it for two to three days for two to three days All right, folks and then you're gonna just salt it and when I say salt it I mean freaking it should look like it got freaking snowed on kind of salting you feel me I mean, so salted, you could leave it out and your dogs wouldn't even want to eat it. My dogs are pretty stupid. And 
And once you do that, you let it sit until it's stiff. And then you put it into a solution, a solution of water and salt and the tanning oil that is provided by the store. You're gonna put the hide underwater with salt now, in it. Once when that hide softens up and it's been in that salt water that is supposed to be warm, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, after that, you're gonna take it and you're gonna let it dry for about a day. And then you're gonna lay it out on the table and follow the following steps. All right, folks, well, usually with like a coyote or a coon, something small, what I would do is take the brain matter, add about a cup of water and cook it down, or actually scratch that. You, you cook the brain by itself until it turns into a liquid. It's almost kind of like a fat. And then you add about a cup of water and mix that together and let that sit. And that's basically what this is. I went and bought it, you know, this is a bigger hide. Plus I shot this deer about a year ago. So I don't have the brain to make that. So this is basically the same thing. You're gonna put it all along the hide. A good, a good, a good dose. You, I mean, you wanna really get it in there. All around. And you almost want to use the whole bottle. Then you take a little foam brush and you want to rub it in. Rub it in really well throughout the hide. And really make sure you try to almost force that hide to soak it up. And really just rub the whole hide. Kind of go over it once or twice in an area before you move on. And really just get all the corners, everything you want. Nice and good. All right, folks. So now that you have rubbed in the solution, you want to let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then, hey, buddy. You're gonna fold the hide over to itself so the skin is touching so, and let that sit all overnight and let it just really soak that in. That's how you fold the hide with the hair out and you want the skin to be touching, kind of like that. And you let it sit for 12 to 14 hours or you know, just overnight. And uh, yeah, that should be the last and final step. And then after that, you hang it and let it dry. All right, so now the quality of your height is really up to you. Now that you've gone this far and done all these steps, you can let it sit for three days and it would literally be as stiff as cardboard. It'll wrinkle and, you know, with the machine you use, the, it'll be soft to the touch, but it'll still be like cardboard. It won't be as hard as a rock, but it'll be about the stiffness of cardboard. The only way to do this is before it gets dry completely, you want to have a... Uh, wire or you know like like snare wire or anything like that maybe a metal pole and you're going to grab each side of the height and you're going to work it back and forth till well you feel that the height is broken up enough this all determines on how much work you put in you don't do this at all you could use it you know you could put it on your dresser and it'll shape your dresser you know while it's still wet and you could also make it like it's a professional hide, but that would take at least 24 hours worth of work. All right. Thanks again, folks, for watching. And uh, comment below if you have any questions. I'll, let, I'll be willing to answer any questions you have.